This is the KCP Ikebukura drone. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what the dorm is. So, just real quick. Cabinet. Shoe shelf. IH heater. It does not, it's only compatible with IH cooking material. So, for example, you go to a convenience store or like a like a supermarket, Japanese supermarket, to be precise, and essentially you're gonna find cooking ware that has the letters I H on it. So basically, it's just saying that it's compatible with these kind of I H material. Do not bring any cooking material from America because they will not work. You will be like such an idiot if you brought American cooking ware over because it's not gonna work. So sink, dish rack, sink cabinets. I've yet to use it, by the way. So. Fridge. Freezer. Ice cream. <laughs> Bathroom. Pretty small. Left is for little flush. Right is for big flush. Shower head. Essentially, this is your sink, your water faucet. Flip the switch up. Your shower. You might want to bring your own toilet paper, just in case. So this device controls the water temperature for pretty much anything that runs water. So you got your sink, you got your bathroom sink, and your shower that's being controlled by this control panel. So it's in Celsius, so it's 44 degrees. At the top of my head, I can't really convert it to Fahrenheit, but it should be like 80, maybe. I don't know. It's warm, so it's usually the temperature I shower with, and it's the warm water. This button essentially signifies how much like hot water you're going to use. Uh, the units of measurement, I have no idea, so I just usually put 40, I don't know. So, bed, bunk bed, so, even though it's a bunk bed, there's no one going to be living with you since you, um, if you're, if you are an American student, then, like, 99%, you're going to be living by yourself. Because, I know the international students, who are from, like, China or, like, Malaysia, they have to share rooms. But, U.S. students, uh, Amer like, American students, like, pretty much have a single room to yourself. So, don't, so even though there's a bunk bed, don't believe that you're going to have a roommate or something, because this room is, like, way too small. So this is your bed. It's a pretty tiny futon thingy. And this. This pillow really, really sucks. Okay. I, it took me forever to break in, break in this pillow. I call it a samurai pillow. 
because it's like rock hard and I think you just have to have crazy endurance like I do to just bear with it and yeah I finally managed to break it in and it's sort of soft so there might be nothing wrong with bringing a pillow it just might be too heavy for you if you're really looking for a pillow there's a a Cebu or a Seiyu which is essentially what I call the like the Japanese Walmart and they sell they sell uh, pr pretty much pillows and stuff it's located in Sunshine City in Ikebukuro so you might have to like google maps and just try to find it this is your desk and stuff. There's also an Ethernet cable and the port is right there on the left side side. So yeah, if you're concerned about Ethernet cables and Ikubukuro, don't sweat it. It's already here and it works. And it's a perfect length, so don't be thinking that you should be bringing like a 36 feet, a 36 feet extension. Yeah, no need. This is perfect. Uh, I do have to warn you that you could build a dorm dorm speed. Really, really sucks sometimes because pretty much all the other dorm people are just using like sucking up the bandwidth. So you might not get like an optimal speed. So if you're downloading something, uh, just keep that in mind. Also, later on. Uh, the landlord, Shinsan, will ask you if you want Wi-Fi. So pretty much, you just sign your name, saying that you want Wi-Fi, and you can get Wi-Fi. But it's like freakishly slow. So if the Ethernet's down, just use Wi-Fi and vice versa. And the problem with the Ikebukuro dorms is both connections kind of fail. So, we, we I remember like this semester we went like two or three days without internet. So yeah, that kind of sucked. So yeah, this is not a this is not a you know this is not a towel rack. This is actually a coat like coat hanger, clothes hanger. But usually I just stack my clothes on top of the bunk bed. And finally. So I'll show you real quick. You see that metal bar outside? That's <coughs> that's supposed to be your clothes hanger. So basically, you can buy like a a bulk of clothes hangers at like the Kako N store. And you can just like hang it outside and after you wash your clothes and stuff. But I usually take my stuff to the dry cleaners. I'll post a link like to my blog on like the bottom hand side. So I'll be talking about where the cleaners is and stuff. So it's pretty much close by. And I highly recommend it over hanging your clothes because all you have to do is pay like 100 yen or two to like completely dry clean your, I mean dry your clothes and it's like perfect and I don't see why people do that often but okay it's their loss so yeah that's it this is the Ikibukuro dorm this you can get the dorm this type of dorm if you uh, forgo the meal plan. If you're the meal plan, if you if you're applying to KCP and you put the meal plan, you'll probably be placed in the Kasai dorms. And that meal plan essentially set, like gives them the option to like. Yeah, it's a, it's a meal plan. Is it just a meal plan? But yeah, if you, I'm pretty sure I think the Ikebukuro dorm is a lot better. In terms of like, actually, I don't know. The Ikebukuro dorms are kind of small, 
and that bunk bed is annoying as hell and yeah the bed really squeaks a lot but otherwise you kinda get used to it so yeah that's pretty much it. you can go to the dorms I think yeah, if you forgo the meal plan, you'll definitely be placed in the Ikebuko dorms. And I don't think it's bad because you can cook on your own. It's a great opportunity to learn how to cook. And Ikebuko is really close to the Tokyo Metro station to school, as opposed to the Kasa dorms, which take like 45 minutes to probably an hour to get to school. So Ikebukuro, you can wake up late. And you can still get to school in like 20 minutes. So, yep. Alright. Hope you people who are thinking about KCP apply. And hope you guys sign up for the Ikebukuro dorms. Fun times. Got any questions? Just leave a comment.